Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this video. My name is Mike, if you're brand new, welcome. If you're coming back, thanks for tuning in once again. So yeah, I had these tickets booked for Emma as part of a Christmas present in 2023, booked it in December and only saw this production when it came to Newcastle for the first night on July 2nd of 2024 to a pretty much packed out crowd now i'm not going to say too much in terms of what this production is all around but basically it takes a spin on the story of ursula and the little mermaid that we know and it adds a little bit of flamboyancy to it well actually not even a little bit of flamboyancy a whole lot of flamboyancy because this production i'm just right at the bat will say it's pretty much an lgbtqia plus production and that for me wasn't put off by that I, I honestly don't care in the single slightest and I took the production for what it was and I didn't know anything about it I didn't listen to the music beforehand I didn't um see who was pretty much cast here or anything like that I just went into this because I saw Ursula and I thought hey Emma loves Ursula let's go check it out and we both absolutely loved this production it is honestly fantastic the flamboyancy the bright colors the set design and just the energy that was presented was just so high octane it was just an absolute treat to behold and it certainly does have elements of the original the little mermaid story but it definitely puts a huge spanner in that works and takes a huge spin and really delivers a knockout punch in terms of an entertaining show i think everyone here did a truly terrific job and in terms of an untold story of ursula we see a bit of a different side to ursula that we may not know and for that i quite liked it this could easily serve as a disney villain origin story because i know a few years ago we had cruella with emma stone this could easily be done with ursula because i think there's a material here that actually does work pretty well and presented on screen could really add a little bit more depths and layers to the character of ursula and i think everyone again the music the the lyrics the vocals the performances the sets everything was just elevated to another level and I was absolutely all for it. In terms of performances, let's talk about who is involved here. And just out of respect for these actors and actresses, I'm going to mention them all by they or them pronouns. Because some of them go by they or he, uh, maybe they, them, she, he. I, I really don't know. So I don't want to offend anyone. So in the titular character of Ursula, we've got Shona Himmick that a lot of people may know from orange is the new black i never watched that show but they're from that show we've also got river medway as ariel and they were on uh, rupaul's drag race we've got thomas law as triton and uh triton was emma's favorite character of the night absolute scream the comedy was pitch perfect got Ali Dart who plays Sebastian slash the French chef and Ali did an incredible job of balancing the two of being a crab and a French chef and the way that the comedy landed especially more towards the second act was just done to a T. So well done. Jamie Mawson plays Eric and I'm pretty sure it also does Neptune I could be wrong, but I didn't see anyone else on the cast list as Neptune. And I'm pretty sure it was uh, Jamie because the energy that both those characters gave were very similar in terms of just high-paced, fast, energetic, and just literally on another level. I'm pretty sure that was the same person. And finally, we've got Julian uh, Coppola if I've got that right, who plays Grimsby. And Grimsby was a huge belly buster laugh with the crowd everyone loved the character and every one of those did an absolute standout job yeah Ashona Himmick as Ursula of course does a great job as Ursula it's almost as if they're kind of born to play that role in the theatre so if you're wondering Mike do you have any nitpicks with unfortunate unfortunately I do uh, no pun intended I have I've got two um now the first one is the sound well both of them are related to the sound but the first one is 
the music that was being played live, the guitars, the drums, and the uh, piano, along with any other kind of maybe backing track playing as well, that was louder for a lot of the songs compared to the actual vocals on the actor on stage. And don't get me wrong, they had powerful voices, but the music overpowered them quite a lot of the time. So a lot of the lyrics were misheard or couldn't even hear them. So you're trying to make out what is being said. Now, I didn't listen to the soundtrack to this before going into it. I wanted to be surprised, but definitely going to have to go back to the soundtrack to actually listen to what was said. So I just felt like as if they turned down the volume of the extra instrumentation in the background and have the actors vocals a little bit louder it would have been far superior. And then the second one in relation with the sound was the ensemble. Now, don't get me wrong. They do an incredible job with the puppetry work. They also do a terrific job being ensemble. They honestly really add a lot to the production. But I felt that there was certain moments that the ensemble, some of them had more powerful voices than others. And it kind of took away some of that uh, vocalization from the non so much powerful performers because it didn't feel as if it was like fully synced and harmonized it felt a little bit out of place at time they would have far rather have gotten a couple of lines to the most powerful ones and then maybe a couple of lines to the ones that maybe not as powerful voices as the others so they had their moment to sign and it would have like synced up a little bit better with the harmonization but they don't really land that but ultimately unfortunately it's a fantastic show it's rude it's crude it's very much humorous and you're gonna have a great time and don't expect your typical disney story my overall score is a four stars out of five have you seen unfortunate are you gonna check it out at the theater let me know down below where i will leave a link and you can buy tickets if you haven't seen it already on its uk tour hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to see more content big thanks to all my awesome patrons who help to really support the channel you can join below by clicking the link it's only two pound per month in the meantime click over to view more videos of mine you may have missed until next time i'll see you guys i'll be seeing you later